that's all what we're going to be doing, removing this badge here, we're going to be taking all this off on the back end, we're going to get all this machine polished up as well. So I must crack on, lot to do on this big. What we're doing, heating all this tape up here. Set these uh, badges off here, these only stuff stuck on. Just use a hair dryer. Being plastic is not going to cause any damage. There we are polish them up afterwards and then we've got some more new labels to stick on but I'll come back a bit later with them. I've just got the new stickers on the badges now, uh, centre caps for the wheels, fit these in, that's another job on the way with and then we shall be moving on to the next day. got rid of all the racking now off the, the back end here it gives us access to all this area lots of issues in the paint work here swirl marks holograms going on paint marring that type of thing so we're going to start moving on to the machine polishing side now we've already done the roof that's out the way with we've also got the wheels all uh, coated they were removed all that's uh, boxed off now and then we'll start uh, this out next um, as I say we'll be using heavy cut compound on this because there is deep scratches all over the paintwork on this particular vehicle massive vehicle this see all the swirl marks and scratches and holograms in the paintwork on the left hand side on the right hand side here we're just uh, on the first stage machine polishing at the moment but certainly getting more clarity in the paintwork Quite important when we're doing paint correction on cars, we want to be using the right equipment here. So what we've got, we're, at the moment, we're using um, Manzerna Heavy Cut Compound 400 here, obviously for cutting back these uh, heavy defects in the paint. So we're using that. We've also got a respirator here. We've got the goggles and the headphones on once we're doing this. And we also have a fan in our unit here. So what we would need to be doing when we do polishing and that, we've got this circulating, so that's blowing away any sort of dust and that type of thing, and any of the fumes maybe that's coming off that too. Uh, so we've just got a constant airflow going against it completely all the time, and that's the professional way of doing things. Especially when we're working in our studio here, we also have the air extraction system on as well, and uh, they've got uh, big filters in there so it pulls any dust out, uh, recycles the air and within this unit every 1 minute 20 seconds. Uh, in our studio we've got all different lights so we can turn the frequency from one extreme to the other so we can see all the swirl marks, defects and everything within the paintwork and then we can turn it round afterwards to show the car as it is in a complete mirror. Uh, once the coatings go on, so quite important as well. As always, when we're doing a job here, we like being organised as well. Um, so any cables and that type of thing, get them out the way with. So what we've done, we've put a bit of tape on the uh, particular panels here that's got more defects, severity, uh, scratches, etc. Uh, round about here, so we've po uh, machine polished this area now down this side but on this particular section here really severe deeper scratches and this area as well it's absolutely horrendous so what I'll be doing now is addressing this get this sorted get this out of the way with before moving on to the door section here and then once we're here we'll have another look at this side once we've corrected all this is what I mean when uh, a vehicle's badly washed in that and or even if somebody else has had a machine to it that's not got experience that type of thing but when they leave buffer trails behind and also swirl marks 
I mean, we're, we're doing the correction work here on this panel now. More clarity here, we'll cut the swirl marks back and everything. So we've got all the machine polishing out the way with now. We use the uh, two nano hybrid machines here um, by Roops, a great bit of kit, and a small pad, medium sized pad here. Obviously, once we're using this, this is a very coarse abrasive pad, the blue one. Um, quite gritty at the back there. We have another heavy cut compound that we can use with this pad, uh, especially for getting rid of more very heavy and severe defects too. So we've got that sorted, all clean, tidy around here now. And what we're going to do is concentrate on getting the racking uh, for the bikes back on the back of the van here. There. Now we've got both bolts in, we can just clamp this back up. Right, that's very sturdy now. Anyhow, I'm going to have to go now. Until next time, catch you later.